Hi everyone, we are planning to leave from my Shalton in the rain. We are we have Darren here all the way from Wakapau and we are taking him to Shia village, Morona village and Awarwana village. So he'll have the true Rupununi experience. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a few. You're on our way on the bikes now. So in July of last year, 2022, I took a trip to three indigenous communities in the South Rupununi. Shia, Moranau and Awarwanau. I'm videoing all the time. I traveled along with Immaculata, who we all know as Maki, and with Judy, both of them from my Shalton village. As you can see, our journey was blessed with lots and lots of rain. The reason for this trip was to film and produce a documentary for Conservation International raising awareness on the importance of protecting the headwaters of the South Rupununi. So the first village we stopped at was Shia. Located at approximately three hours away using bikes. That is from my Shelton village I'm talking about of course. the magic creek I said. <laughs> On the way to Shia, we passed through Awarwanao and Maranao. But although we had to film in both these villages, we thought it best to head to the farthest village first, that is Shia, and then stop to film as we were passing back. Here at Shia. Um, 
It's night now. We took about <laughs> approximately three hours to reach. You said two and a half. Two and well, two, two hours and 50, 50 minutes. minutes to be exact. <laughs> yeah, well, it's three hours. Yeah. We cannot oh, film now because it's, it's dark. You cannot see yourself probably. What we'll film tomorrow. <laughs> well, Maki's here. Oh, hi. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> tired, waiting for lemongrass tea. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, try big. Uh, and try <laughs> big. Uh, yes, we're waiting for our <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Tomorrow we can share. Uh, it's been a very rainy morning. We're now heading for breakfast. Uh, it's very rainy, as you can see here. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> We're gonna get breakfast and then we're gonna start doing the interviews at around 9. I was really hoping for sunny weather in the morning so I can get to film. But the rain simply wouldn't let up. Nonetheless, we headed for breakfast. Maybe. Just maybe the rain. Please. now and we're gonna see what they prepared for us. This is Judy Vaitos and So we have turn on the camera. So we have fry bakes with what is this Judy? Chicken stew chicken farine eggs scrambled eggs um lemon grass tea yeah and no cassava bread <laughs> of course, she will say she will have a summer bread. No problem. Is it you want to take back? Yes, it's here, I think. Carry the woman there. In some other parts, the woman carry the man. I can't choose the woman there. <laughs> so in the background there is sheer rock. It is not showing clear because of the the weather. Um, I hope the weather clears up and I can get some very good shots, some drone shots, and some some photos and some video of sheer rock. Right now this picture can't do justice, but it looks really majestic. Here we're trying to capture the sheer rock in the background. It's not sure it's up here, but we walk it. We're hoping that the sun will just shine. Oh. So we're waiting on this. We're just having to interview. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We did all the plants already. Say hi, Vitus. The rider. <laughs> Maki. Hey! <laughs> Um, we came yesterday from my shelter through the rain. We had rain all night. Now we have rain all morning again. I feel like I'm the bad woman. <laughs>
The ruins didn't quite ease, but we had to film anyways. After all, we just had one day to film. As long as Guitaro is there and it remains the same, it will be a better, better tomorrow for my children if, there, if no damage is going on at the other side. Well, Guitaro, I know that I have a lot of money. 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 So we finished with the first set of interviews. Are we got more? Yes, this is the th and last. This is the first set of interviews. Yeah. So this is the, well, we finished with Shia. Mm -hmm. We finished. With so we finished with the interviews for Shia. Um, it it went very well. They can s I don't understand what they said. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it in the, um, the, the subtitles. Subtitles, yeah. 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 <laughs> It's really inspiring, to be honest. I think I can see why she selected. With the first set of interviews finished, we decided to take the risk and climb Shear Rock, despite the rains. We're heading up. We're on the rock. We're on the rock. It looks like a mountain. <laughs> she a mountain. You have to be careful, right? Be careful with your equipment. Have been super is best here. You want to go? I don't know. Careful. Okay, well. It's a lot. It's more slippery. Did you decide for us whether we go or not? <laughs> we, we couldn't make it up. We have to go down back now. It, it's too rainy and slippery, so. <laughs> so, for our safety, we're heading down back. We're gonna try a much. a area with less slope, which will be much safer for us. So we're going up from another um, another point. Hopefully we can climb up here much more easily than the first spot that we stopped at. Any more amping up? Less.
I don't know. The side of it is easier to climb. I'm not even on the mountain, but I'm <laughs> tired. Lack of exercise. <laughs> Unhealthy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so. Are they good? So the legend says that um, Shia was a child. She was a boy. And he was bored and he got sick and then he began to swell and when he began to swell they tried all kind of things to heal him but they couldn't heal him and eventually he just like burst and that is how come they have um she uh, she she is the word mean swollen oh swollen so they the word came out of she, she and meaning swollen rock, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how come they get this rock name. Uh -uh. So they say it was a young boy. Oh. That's the legend of <laughs> she. <Interesting. Yeah. laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's more nicer from here. Huh? Yeah, easier to climb. Easier to climb. Not so afraid. Oh, we're a good way up already. Yeah. That's a nice view. Nice view, yes. Nice houses. <laughs> nice plants. So I think a nettle didn't just come by themselves. I was told that they were brought by the ancestors to be on these mountains. Um, as like a protection like from whatever they have you know so like they prevented like people from really getting to where they wanted they didn't want them at these places like before you know outsiders so in some places you would find these it's not that they just came to be it's just mm -hmm. that they were put there as a guard like okay. for the i would say maybe because they have the the caves they have the petroglyphs and so on so it was like a protection from the like really people coming and destroying so by this you touching this or you you carelessly going and it touches you you just had to turn back mm, yes yeah, so it's, it's like a guard so um <clears throat> it is used um now i learned the other day that if you get sick and you're like not getting well and you suspect that it is like evil spirits because evil and good exist so that you can you can use this to um kasarayan how you say pokopan ijaan or um ijaan i have yang pat pet of paga pat pat pet tanong paga puwar kan da pokohan i id ka ni ni um ka ha i jam ta paga or it puri nya mak kon ni wala because remember it is stinging na na came no ma Yeah, it is. It is a kind of medicinal plant for healing purposes. Um, for the um, kaya um, kaya um, for the um, sicknesses from the heart. Oh, oh, the idea is that one. Uh huh. Oh, the idea is that one. No, what's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, from three. What's it? What's here? Somewhere broken. I don't know how to name it. One is here. It's a good one. Small ones, okay. Yeah, nice one. So you see, it has a lot of them. Ah, uh, a lot So, after approximately half an hour's walk, we finally reached the top. This is the top of Sheer Rock. I don't know why there are two crosses here. Very strange. You know who built that thing? Yeah. Thank you. 
so we we are going down now. It was a it was a good view up there. Much better than I thought it would be. A longer journey, but <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. It's longer. Longer. The ascent was safer than. And safer. The road is too. How first. you fall not so um, steep? How oh, what's the opposite of steep? Slope. Less slope. Less slope. I don't know. I was thinking that word right through coming in. What is the opposite of the I'm chasing it. I'm next to each other. So, where are you heading now, back now? We have um, Darren here, <laughs> and we're so happy to have him. I'm so happy to have him <laughs> because I don't know when we'll have him again. Let's see, in the next year or so. But we would love for you to come back in the dry season. <laughs> I will surely come back. <laughs> then you'll see Bottle Mountain and all the the mountains that we cannot see right now. You you see them, but not so clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, guys, especially after the rain falls and the sunshine, oh, that'd be a very, um, I would say, spectacular scene. Um, uh, our ancestors say kakarauno, meaning like this is like very beautiful, and they have crowns, or the mountains have crowns, or something, something like that. Mm -hmm. This. Well, that's how I express it in English. Mm -hmm. But in Wakchan they say, ah, Kakarano Mikko, meaning like they are lovely, they have crowns over their head, they have white clouds are there. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I have a jigger though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And the rains are back. Yeah. Did it tired? <laughs> <laughs> She's I don't know what she's doing there. <laughs> Pulling her pants. <laughs> so I'll okay. see you when I reach down. Uh, she was fun. She yeah. was good. <laughs> she was more than I expected. Yeah. I'll see you in Mana. 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 I'll see you in Mana. <laughs> This trip to Shia was definitely one to remember. I really did enjoy it and I'm definitely coming back. Definitely.